Good morning, everyone. Good morning and welcome, and thank you for being here. I'm Todd Seawalk, President and Chief Business Officer of Ferrero North America, the global confectionery company best known for Nutella, Tic Tac, Kinder, as well as Butterfinger and Crunch, which is made on the hillside right behind me, and Baby Ruth, which is also made in Illinois, and Fannie Mae, which is sold throughout Illinois, including our new store here in Bloomington Normal. We have more than 3,000 employees in 18 offices and facilities across North America, including Bloomington, Chicago, and Franklin Park. Just a few months ago, we broke ground on the construction of Ferrero's first chocolate processing facility, which you can see rising out of the ground behind me. That $75 million investment will give us the ability to process high quality chocolate here in America and create as many as 50 important jobs in Bloomington. Our team members in Illinois are essential to our continued growth in North America and the world. We spend nearly $300 million to support the 1,400 employees and 560 suppliers and communities here in the state and this economic impact will only grow as we continue to invest in Illinois. I am proud to be joined here by Ferrarians from several of our offices in North America. I also want to give a special thank you to all the employees here in our Bloomington plant whose hard work and product expertise put smiles on the faces of so many. They are instrumental to Ferrero's success. On behalf of the entire Ferrero team, I want to extend a warm welcome to the state and community leaders who took the time to join us. Thank you all. Thank you, Governor Pritzker, Mayor Mwambe, C DCEO Director Garcia, State Representatives and Senators, the Bloomington Normal Economic Development Council, and other area officials. Your partnership and support has been critical to our growth here, and this announcement today is based in large part on your willingness to support our continued expansion. Today, we are thrilled to announce another major milestone for, for Ferrero in Illinois, a $214 million addition to our Bloomington plant that will span 169,000 square feet and add 200 new jobs. <laughs> this addition will be dedicated to producing Kinder Bueno, and I have one as a, <laughs> where would we be without a little marketing, which is a cream-filled wafer covered in dark chocolate and dark chocolate, hazelnut, drizzle. Since, la since launching Kinder in 2019, the brand has grown to $167 million in North America, growing over 51% in the last year. The ability to make Kinder Bueno right here in the heart of North America's food and confection industry ensures we're able to build on this tremendous momentum and meet growing demand. Construction is slated to start when we complete it this fall and will be completed in 2024. It will be the largest production center built by Ferrero outside of Europe and is our first factory in the United States to make one of the original Ferrero products. This is a happy moment for Ferrero as we celebrate the continued expansion of our capabilities here. It is also a happy moment for Ferrero as a positive presence in central Illinois. This expansion will create new quality career opportunities that will make a positive econo uh, economic impact in the Bloomington Normal area. This latest announcement underscores our ongoing commitment to do business here, and we are grateful that you are all here to celebrate with us. Now I'd like to introduce Governor J.B. Pritzker. We, are, we greatly value the partnership from you and your team and look forward to our continued growth in Illinois. Thank you for being here. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much. It is a very happy moment for the people of Bloomington and the people of Illinois. So we're, we're glad to be here with you and enjoying this moment with, as you call them, Ferrarians. Um, good morning to everyone, and thank you to Todd Seawalk for the very kind introduction and for your commitment to Bloomington and to our great state Ferrero is popular in Illinois, not just for its iconic brands like Crunch and Raisinets, but for its commitment to jobs and growth in Illinois. 
It chose central Illinois for its first ever U.S. chocolate processing facility, breaking ground here just eight months ago. Today, I am thrilled to be here to celebrate the establishment of the Kinder Bueno product production line and yet a further example of the expansion of Ferrero's operations. This very site will be the only facility in North America to produce Kinder Bueno, one of the most popular and most delicious candy bars in the world. Ferrero already has more than 1,400 full-time employees in Illinois, more than 350 right here in Bloomington. And over the next four years, Ferrero will bring over 200 new jobs here and invest more than $200 million. This expansion is testament to Illinois' quality workforce and reputation on the global stage. And I want to personally thank Todd Siwak and all of Ferrero's senior management for your faith in the workers of Illinois and the workers of Bloomington and this entire region. Ferrero is a fan favorite. And it's one of hundreds of manufacturers to relocate here or grow here in Illinois over the last few years during a global pandemic, no less. We've welcomed business expansions from Boeing and Chicago Magnesium and Rivian and Discover Card and Lion Electric and many more, uh, driving economic growth and opportunity across our state. It's no secret why. Manufacturers continue to invest in Illinois because of our highly trained workforce, our central location, and our transportation infrastructure, all of which make our state a great fit for companies doing business and moving products all around the world. In fact, we are training some of the next generation of manufacturing talent next door in normal, thanks to a multi-million dollar Rebuild Illinois investment in Heartland Community College giving workers the chance to develop advanced manufacturing skills. It's just one way that we are building on Illinois' strengths. Investing in our workforce to create more opportunities for Illinoisans is what this is all about. We're also providing manufacturers some real advantages in Illinois, like expanding the manufacturer's purchase credit, a sales tax exemption for production equipment. We've also extended the R&D tax credit and the EDGE tax credit, and we've lowered the corporate franchise tax, reducing the cost of business for the cost of doing business for companies like Ferrero. Working with the Illinois Manufacturers Association, we've established a business apprenticeship tax credit enabling companies to provide on the job continuous education to build their own workforce capability. Central Illinois, is the heart of our nation with some of the hardest working people in America. Jobs and economic opportunity for Bloomington and the entire region remain among my highest priorities. That's why here in central Illinois we've invested in vocational training in high school, skills development at community colleges, and more state college scholarships than ever before. And with the increase in job growth that we're seeing, it can't happen fast enough. To Senator Sally Turner, to Representative Dan Brady, thank you for joining us today to celebrate this win for Central Illinois. Thank you again to Todd and the entire Ferrero team, including Pasquale Giorgio, Federico Forti, Shalini Stansbury, and Gerald Kundi for their partnership. Here's to years of success for Ferrero and economic prosperity for the entire Bloomington Normal metro region. And with that, it is my great pleasure to introduce a terrific mayor here in central Illinois, someone who has done so much to build economic opportunity for people, Mayor Mboka Mwilambwe. Mayor? Thank you, uh, Governor Pritzker, and I also want to extend my thanks to Todd and the Ferrarians uh, for the great work that you have done in, in Bloomington and, and your, your commitment. Um, it's another wonderful day in this neighborhood. In fact, so wonderful that I, I'm going to rename it Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was less than nine months ago that we gathered here for the ribbon cutting for Ferrero's first chocolate manufacturing facility in North America. At that time, we felt pretty strongly about Ferrero's commitment to the community 
today we feel even stronger about it. Particularly, as I remember, my first meeting with Ferrero's leadership soon after I took office. In fact, it was May 28th. <laughs> Back then, they told me that they had a history of significant investments in the communities where they have facilities, and they could not see why this could not materialize in Bloomington. While I knew the investments would come, I certainly did not anticipate a $214 million investment almost a year to the day. Over the years, Bloomington's economy has always been resilient and it would be very easy for us to rest on our laurels. However, if COVID has shown us anything, it is that things can change very quickly and prosperity is not guaranteed. Therefore, we must continue to work at it. This is why the city of Bloomington welcomes this investment by Ferrero, which we believe has been encouraged by the business-friendly environment we provide, a quality workforce, a great quality of life for residents and their workers, and also a robust infrastructure. The Bloomington City Council is committed to continuing to improve on those elements and any others we deem essential for business attraction and retention for the benefit of our residents. As most of you know, business attraction and retention, or economic development as they call it, is a very difficult arena and it can sometimes take months or years for things to come to fruition. So it is important to emphasize that the city and EDC staff played a critical role in this latest development in our partnership with Ferrero. And Todd and I were discussing that earlier. Their expertise and ability to get the job done gave Ferrero confidence that their vision can be executed on the ground seamlessly leading to this additional investment. However, the other element that was needed for Ferrero's growth is the confidence that an adequate workforce would be available. We're thankful for the partnership between Ferrero and Heartland Community College and for the support of Governor Pritzker and the state of Illinois in providing the resources necessary for workforce training, particularly when it comes to workforce equity initiatives. Such programs will ensure that Ferrero and others will continue to have access to the quality workforce that we are known for here in the region and will continue to fuel our economic growth. I'd be remiss if I did not also mention that the Enterprise Zone overseen by DCEO has played a significant role in Ferrero's growth. So workforce, business investment, quality of life, infrastructure are all part of a complex mix that helps a community grow. And it takes a village to get that perfect mix. Today's announcement is that perfect mix, a shining example of what we can accomplish when we all join hands for the benefit of our communities and our state. It is, in, it is both inspiring and satisfying. And I look forward to Ferrero and Bloomington recreating that perfect mix time and time again with the help of our partners, so no pressure. <laughs> Thank you all very much. Good morning. My name is Sylvia Garcia and I'm the director of the Illinois Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity, or DCO. I'm excited to be back in Bloomington for another great announcement with Ferrero. We are so proud to support the company's first Kinder Bueno production facility, not only in the United States, but the first in North America. Americans were thrilled when Kinder Bueno hit the shelves in the United States in 2019. And we are thrilled that these chocolatey, creamy, crunchy confections will be made right here in Bloomington. Yum. We are so very excited. This investment means more than $200 million in investment and 200 new jobs over the next four years. Under Governor Pritzker's leadership, we are prioritizing partnerships with major job creators who put fa their faith in Illinois, <laughs> invest in our people, and support our communities. And that's exactly what Ferrero has done. Combined with our abundant workforce, great talent, and world-class infrastructure, we're working to attract businesses by offering incentives, many of which the governor mentioned, creating major jobs and uh, spurring economic development. As many have mentioned, today's announcement wouldn't be possible without the collaboration between state, local, and, and other workforce partners. 
In particular, we've created an ecosystem of collaboration here, which includes the apprenticeship program with Heartland Community College. This program strengths strengthens the workforce pipeline by training and certifying maintenance workers at this plant here. As a central hub for agriculture, Illinois continues to be a destination for food processing giants and manufacturers because of our talented workforce, our central location, and our transportation infrastructure, all of which make our state a great fit for companies doing business and moving products across the country and around the globe. I'd like to again congratulate Ferrero on their decision to expand in Illinois. We're thrilled to have you here. And before I turn it back over to the governor for q and I'm going to ask the question everybody wants to know, where is the factory store and what time does it open? <laughs> <laughs> Happy to take any questions from members of the media. Well, that's ridiculous. Um, we are running a campaign against Republicans. Whoever that nominee is going to be, we're running a tough campaign against them for the general election. That's what that's all about. Look, it's been an awfully long time since the Congress acted on gun safety. And so I'm glad to see that there was some success that came out of that. Uh, it's not enough. Uh, we do more here in the state of Illinois than uh, is being promised by that package. Um, and, but, but progress is progress, and I don't want to denigrate it. It, it. Republicans and Democrats came together to do the right thing, in the, certainly in the wake of these mass shootings. So uh, I, I support that. I think there's more to do. Well, you have to remember that many, 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 in fact, 60% of the guns that are recovered in Chicago from major crimes uh, come from out of state. So even if you have uh, reasonable gun safety laws and rules in here in the state of Illinois, uh, in Indiana and in Missouri and Kentucky, you don't. And so a national law, a national laws that help us deter weapons from getting into the hands of people who would commit violent crimes are necessary. Well, uh, President Trump can come to the state if he likes um, and campaign for, you know, the, you know, the far right, which is what he's doing. Um, this state rejected him by 17 percentage points. So, uh, you know, if he wants to come here and thinks he's going to be popular for coming here, he's got another thing coming. I know he'll attract a crowd of people who support him, but the majority of people in the state of Illinois do not. Yes, thank you. Um, former Attorney General Jim Ryan, one of the great public servants in Illinois history, somebody who cared deeply about the state, who uh, was worked in a bipartisan fashion to make people safer, to um, you know, to stand up for what was right, and to put trust in government. Um, it's a great loss to our state. You know, I may be a Democrat; he was a Republican, but he was a good public servant, a caring public servant, and I want to express my sympathies to his family and to the entire state, and especially to people who knew him, uh, who know what a good man he was. Thank you.